going on everybody? I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. In the previous episode, we took the wing off of the gin, and in today's video, we're gonna be throwing this duck bill onto the trunk. So, whenever I ordered this duck bill, I thought it was gonna be like a hard, solid piece, but apparently it's like this poly, all flexible and stuff. So, not really the best, but it does come with double-sided tape, so that's kind of sweet. I don't have to go out and get that. And basically using this heat gun, I'm gonna heat this up and hope that it kind of like bends into shape. And then, yeah, throw it on the car. Let's get to it. I've gone ahead and got it heated up. Next thing is I'm going to take off this masking tape or at least the sticking part. And now we can go ahead and line it up. All right, we've gone ahead and got basically the edges mocked up. And as you can see, this is what it's sitting like. There's a little bit of gap between like the trunk and the actual duck belt, but that's no big issue. We're gonna go ahead and seat it on there fully now. All right, we've gone ahead and got this hoe on here. As you can see, we're just using some brake pads to hold it on there. But basically what you wanna do is basically heat it up and then only apply a portion of the actual masking tape or the double-sided tape to the trunk and basically kind of work your way around. It definitely would be a lot easier if you have two people, just saying that. But it's basically what it's sitting like. All right, it's been around 30 minutes. I'm gone ahead and let this sit. And as you can see, it is fully on the car. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drill with some self-tapping screws and basically drill like here, 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 here just to give it some extra strength. I know that I've seen people use only like 3M tape, but I don't have faith in that. So I'm gonna drill some holes and then use the soft tappers. So one thing that I'm doing is basically tracing around the actual edge of the screw. And then basically, since this is like rubber, I'm taking the Dremel, this hole right here with this extension, and I'm basically kind of making sure that the screw sits inside of this so that whenever I cover it, it's perfectly flush. All right, I've gone ahead and put six screws into this duck bill. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And yeah, that is what it's looking like. Not bad, not bad. So now that this is fully on the trunk, as you can see, this hole is not going anywhere. Screws are all holding it down. I like it, it's clean. So now we are gonna mold this to the trunk. To do this, we're basically gonna make like an outline using a Sharpie basically mocking up where this actual duck bill sits. Then we're gonna sand what's underneath this. So basically the paint right here, we're gonna sand it down to bare metal. And then using this panel adhesive, we're basically gonna put this on the bottom of that. Now people like to use the 3M. Uh, none of the stores near me had the 3M, so I decided to just get this. I don't really feel like waiting a whole week, so I hope this doesn't come back and help me. But I think with the screws and this, it should be sturdy enough. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that.
so as you can see the duck bill is now off uh whenever i send this i'm not too worried about losing like the exact position because i have the holes so now i'm gonna take the sander and some 60 grit sandpaper and i'm gonna sand this all down to bare metal All right, this thing has been fully sanded down. I hit it with 60 grit first, and then I went over it with the 220 just to make it a little bit smoother. Next, we're gonna mix this up and place it all around the edges like so, and then put the screws in and then let that sit. All right, gone ahead and thrown the duckbill back on. This hose looks a lot messier than it did like 15 minutes ago, but I've gone ahead and basically sealed around the edges just to make sure that it's not gonna peel up or anything. And yeah, it looks rough, but I guess it's all a part of the process. So now I'm gonna let this sit for basically an hour and a half. On the package it says an hour, but I'm gonna just do an hour and a half and let it be 100% safe. Then I'm going to probably sand down the edges just a little bit, not anything major because it's going to get covered regardless. And then we'll go from there. All right, it is currently the next morning. And as you can see, this is fully dry to the touch. And now we're going to go ahead and apply some of this Bondo glass. I'm going to mix this up. And then we're going to start with the top first and basically build upon this and make this as flat as possible and yeah All right, I finished with basically the first two coats. I started with the reinforced fiberglass bondo, and then I moved over to this Evercoat Body Shop. Uh, I was doing some research, and basically they said that literally anything is better than like bondo body filler. So I switched over to this, and this is how the first coat is looking. After this dries, I'm gonna sand it down with the sander, probably just to make it a little bit more smooth. And then I'm gonna basically extend this kind of onto the trunk and kind of work with making the top piece just one singular piece because if you look here you can obviously still see that there's like a pretty major gap so i'm going to smooth this down that's still wet i'm going to smooth that down and then basically build upon it and make it smooth I've gone ahead and put basically the second coat and as you can see I at least I can see I'm starting to see basically the general shape so I'm not gonna sand this coat down but I'm basically gonna let this dry and of course keep adding a few more layers but you can start to see like a general shape for the for the piece let us go ahead and continue building up some coats
All right, I've gone ahead and added a few coats. And as you can see, this is what it's looking like. So there's definitely a lot more right here compared to like the rest of the trunk. But what I'm gonna do right now, since this is fully dry, is basically kind of try and like smooth this out. I'm gonna use the sander to basically go ahead and try and smoothen this out a little bit since it's dry. Um, then, because I don't think the general shape is kind of there yet, because you can still see like the ridge here. Depending on how much I can smooth this down, I might start using the uh, sanding block. So, we'll just have to see, but let's get to it. And just like that, this portion of the duck bill, it's not finished, but I don't have much time left, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. But as you can see, I mean, you can see the entire general shape here. Um, more towards this side, there's less of like a ridge. It's more like flat. I still definitely need to work on like the edges, and of course, I haven't touched the bottom side. But like right here, this spot right here, you can definitely feel that there's a little bit of a ridge, but I will work that out the next time I get to this. But it's looking sweet. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do the rear, but it's fine. The top piece looks clean. Anyways, that is gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you like it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. The gin is coming along slowly. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.